guys, what's up? Welcome back to my channel. So for today's video, I'll be reviewing the new CoverGirl Ascension eyeshadow palette. This is part of a Game of Thrones style palette. There's four in this collection altogether, and these are exclusively sold at Walmart. So if you guys want to see what this is about, what type of colors are in there, and to hear about the thousand subscriber giveaway, then definitely keep on watching. <laughs> Alright guys, so let's go ahead and get into today's video. So first off, um, I want to give you guys like a big freaking thank you for hitting a thousand subscribers. Uh, that is insane. Like legit, I literally sent all this stuff to my friends, we were jumping them down for joy, and then we clicked on my videos and I saw that my videos had like an ad on it and I was like, what? Super, super cool, super insane, and I couldn't believe that I finally got here. Like, I literally started my channel back in February 2018, and then I stopped for six months because I had personal issues going on in my life, and I picked it back up back in October of 2018, and then my channel has really just grown from there, and it's literally all because of you guys, and I just want to thank you guys so much for that. So there's definitely going to be a giveaway at the end of this video, so please stay in tune to that. But I want to go ahead and talk about this CoverGirl Ascension eyeshadow palette. So I was at Walmart today. I never really go to Walmart that often. If I do, it's just for like candles and simple like stuff here and there. I usually just go to Target and I walked across their makeup section. I was like, oh, let me take a look and see what they had. And I come across CoverGirl and I don't wear CoverGirl anymore. I used to be obsessed with CoverGirl foundation, with, you know, with mascaras, with eyeliners. Like I used to be obsessed with CoverGirl everything. But unfortunately, I just kind of like not found anything that I like from the brand. And something gets the brand. I think that it's a really great brand, but I just still I just go more towards like Maybelline and L'Oreal, maybe a little bit of Wet n Wild and YX than I do with CoverGirl. And I guess I guess it's just because CoverGirl hasn't really popped out to me lately. But I was at the Walmart section and I saw CoverGirl had released four new eyeshadow palettes and I saw this one. I was like, wow, this is like Ascension. This is like a Game of Thrones style eyeshadow palette. So I saw three other ones. There's Rain, there's Overthrown and there's Revolution, which I'll link up all four of them right up here for you guys so you can take a browse of them. And anyway, there are literally Walmart exclusive palettes. Like literally CoverGirl made these palettes just for Walmart alone to be sold. You can buy all four of them for 68 bucks or individually they're sold for $14.98. Um, the palette is 6.4 grams with a total of 0.22 ounces each per shadow, which is really tiny per shadow. But you know what? I mean, I feel like it's kind of an expensive palette, you know. I don't even know how many shades are in here, but I didn't get a chance to like look at it. Like it is like sealed shut. They didn't have like a test or anything like that. So I was like, I'm gonna pick the colors I thought was the prettiest in the back. Um, it says that with the Ascension palette, it's a palette of soft and romantic cool tone neutrals, illuminating metallics, and puralized pinks and champagnes inspired by the rise of Her Majesty. Intensely pigmented, blendable shades, versatile mattes and shimmer shades are in here. And right here, like this is the actual palette itself. It says this is the actual size. Unfortunately with this palette, this is not cruelty free, so that is unfortunate when it comes to that. But it is a really like pretty palette overall. I mean all the palette schemes are actually really pretty. I just couldn't decide which one I wanted because I just based upon what I saw in the back. Ooh, okay, this is how the eyeshadow palette looks. Um these are <laughs> really, really tiny. Like look at this. This is like really, really tiny eyeshadow hand like that is a really small eyeshadow size but looks to be like the bottom row is nothing but mattes except this is a shimmer right here followed by all shimmers right up here and I mean they look pretty good with a decent size mirror I wonder if they're trying to copy off the Urban Decay Game of Thrones eyeshadow palette I actually did do a video on that which I'll link that right up here for you guys if you guys want to check that out but um these look really pretty let's see if I could just swatch a couple Glass Slipper, Aurora, Fantasy, Twirl, Loyalty, Tully. And on this hand, man, I could barely even get my fingers into this. So we have Queen to Be, Truffles, Horrible Swatch, Committed, <laughs> Bliss. I'm so good at this. I'm so proud of myself. Admiration, can you see that? And Curtsy. Those are really, really horrible swatches, and it's actually really hard to swatch these two shades in particular. Really, really tiny, but y'all, I tried. I have not used the CoverGirl eyeshadow palette in years. I don't even think I 
ever used the CoverGirl eyeshadow palette? I think the eyeshadow palette that I first used was the e.l.f. Prism palette and it was like a really gorgeous shimmer palette that I was like, oh man, I'm, I'm so good at eyeshadow and believe me, I am not the best by any means. Like, pff, I still have a lot of work to do, but that, the way he's doing my look back then, ooh, let me tell you. So, I'm gonna go ahead and just uh, play around with these colors. I think the first shade that I'm gonna dive into is the shade Curtsy right here and just to lay that down into uh, my crease or transition shade. Um, so I do want to apologize for being like a little lackluster lately on YouTube. I did hit a thousand subscribers, I want to say last week, and I haven't really got a chance to upload any videos too much besides my little tiny hands makeup challenge because my best friend just gave birth on Friday to her baby boy Leo. He is absolutely precious, so beautiful, and I literally fell in love. Uh, which kind of surprised myself because I'm gonna be completely frank with you guys, I've never been one to ever want kids. I've never wanted kids my entire life. I'm literally 29 years old, never had like a urge to have one. And as soon as she got pregnant, I was like, oh, all right, all right, she's kind of cute, she's kind of cute pregnant. And then as she progressed further in her pregnancy, I was like, all right, what is this like little like feeling that I'm feeling right now? And then when she gave birth and I got to hold the little baby in my arms, I was like, the way he was cooing in my face, I was like, oh. And then when I saw my fiance hold him, that was it for me. That was like, it, it, literally it for me, I was like melting watching the side of him. Cause I know he's gonna be an amazing dad. And I was like, I fucking want that. Like I want that right there. Which is scary cause like legit, I have always been so against kids. I've like hated kids. I'm really sorry for anyone out there has kids. I'm so sorry, but you guys are my friends, my family. I've always hated kids, never wanted them. Especially when you work at Disney, like that is a birth control in itself. Like you see like, you see shit, you know what I'm saying? And I saw like crazy stuff and I was like, I'm never, ever, ever having kids. It's like for one of my best friends, Kayla, her daughter, Emma, she's a freaking amazing kid. I love her to death. She's eight years old and I love hanging out with her. Like she's such a good time and she's so energetic. She's so full of life and watching everything through her eyes is like, wow, is this what life is about? So she's kind of like started altering my mind this past year. And then when, you know, Alyssa had Leo, I was like, that's it. So. Who knows what my future is going to be now? Uh, definitely, um, it'll be a lot of like babysitting for sure, and maybe get like my biological clock fully ticking. I don't know, but I'm really excited to see what happens next and to uh, kind of fall in love with the idea of having a kid. It's so weird for me, so foreign. That's actually really not pretty. That's really not a bad color. Like, there's definitely like a lot of kick up in the pan like you could just definitely see how dusty it is it's so dirty just by dipping my, my uh, brush into here but so far on the eyeshadow itself it's really pretty and it's blending out really beautifully for some reason i keep forgetting this is covergirl i keep thinking that walmart created this eyeshadow palette and then i realized that no covergirl did it's just so weird they have palettes exclusively sold at walmart like why don't they do that for target like i love target hello they should have palettes sold just exclusively for target and the best part, this is a cool tone eyeshadow palette, which I really can appreciate because I'm, I get so burnt out with the same like warm tone neutral palettes. Like I have so many of them. Like it's at the point now where I get just I get rid of them, just because I have so many. I have so many eyeshadow palettes. It's why like I'll be doing a lot more giveaways because I hate just throwing them away or just giving away to friends. Like I love my friends. Don't get me wrong. They have a lot of makeup themselves. So I'm just at the point now. I'm just gonna start writing like any subscriber that I see that leaves like a wonderful message. I'm just gonna be like, you want some makeup? Because Lord knows I have way too many of it. So let me know in the comments below. I don't really like talk too much or I fast forward through me talking to my eyeshadow, but let me know in the comments below what other makeup looks you guys wanna see me do, what other palettes or creation, are there um, makeup brands you guys wanna see me film with. Like I love exploring different makeup brands and like I wanna kinda go more towards like indie brands. Like I, everybody knows like the well-known like, you know, CoverGirl, L'Oreal, Maybelline, that's just for drugstore or like Tarte, MAC, um, uh, Too Faced, like all like the well-known brands. I kind of want to like start shopping for like lesser known brands, like indie brands, just because I feel like they can create such great makeup, like Melt Cosmetics. It's getting to be really well-known, but it was an indie brand to start off with and their products are phenomenal. They're expensive as hell, but they're phenomenal. I love this Milk Session palette, even though like I did like a really, really horrible look with it. And uh, the Gemini palette, obsessed with, overpriced for what it is, but fantastic brand and I can't even talk properly today. I am legit stunned 
how soft this is. I don't really know how well it's picking up on camera. I never can tell until I'm editing, but this is a really, really soft, like, light brown, like a light brown, and it's blending out amazingly, amazingly well into the skin, and it's delivering a really good, you know, pickup to it. So next time I go into this little color right here, this is called Committed. I'm just gonna dip the same brush right back in here. And I'm just gonna start to place that on the outer edge. I think I'm gonna go for more of a softer glam today just because it is a really soft eyeshadow palette look. It's for a soft, like, everyday wear that you can, you know, use every day. It's like a soft plum. And it's blending out so easily. It's kind of amazing. I'm rather impressed. I feel like drugstore makeups have, I feel like drugstore um, makeup brands have definitely been setting, stepping up their game lately. I don't know what's going on or if they're really trying hard to compete against the higher end brands, but I find myself gravitating more towards drugstore lately just because it's so affordable. It is so affordable. And I used to be so obsessed with buying all high end makeup because I'm like, well, that's what all the other beauty YouTubers do. They buy literally nothing but high end makeup. So I had to buy high end makeup too. And let me tell you, living on your own, it's, is really expensive and I can't imagine like raising a child on top of that and like trying to keep up with all like the makeup you know releases that keep coming out every couple weeks it's exhausting it truly I mean I love doing this don't get me wrong but it's truly exhausting to try to keep up with everything I can't afford to like buy all these expensive eyeshadow palettes and foundations and concealers and I mean granted I will save my money for like Jaclyn Hill or Jaclyn's Cosmetics when that comes out, sorry, because I'm sure she's getting rid of the hill, or like Jeffree Star, like there's certain brands that I would definitely invest in. Other brands, like I'm not going to. Like I would prefer to buy like a drugstore uh, foundation, concealer, everything first before I go to high end, just because it's so affordable and I find they're working really, really well. Like my favorite foundation of all time is the L'Oreal Pro Matte infallible foundation. I literally use that every day along with my infallible 24 hour fresh wear foundation. Like I go back and forth between the two, whether I want to be more in matte or more natural. And I am obsessed. Like literally I get asked all the time what I'm wearing. And I always tell them that is that it's the $11 foundation from L'Oreal. It is phenomenal. And I'm obsessed with it. And I think it works better to me personally than like my Fenty Beauty did. My Estee Lauder works really well. It does, but it works better than my Dior Forever My Skin Foundation. Like, I feel like my Mac, my Mac uh, Studio Fix Plus, horrible foundation, and like my Morphe, like it's it works so well. I literally go back to it every single day. And I, don't get me wrong, I have tried other foundations to see if I can compare. It doesn't. I do want to try the Milani 2-in-1 foundation and concealer. And I went to Walmart and I was out there today. I was trying to find my color. And I, I saw sand beige. I thought maybe it might be my similar shade tone, but I wanted the more natural beige. That's what I go for in every other brand, so. I'll keep an eye out for that. There's like literally no fallout on my face. All right, all right. All right, so now that it's laid down, I think I'm gonna go into the color Tully right here. It's like this really soft champagne pink, and it really is incredibly soft. I don't know how well it's gonna show up. I could try, oh, okay. All right, well, I was not expecting it to show up as much as it did. Okay, now that I'm blending it out my finger, though, it is definitely fading back just a bit, but that is okay. You can go for more of a softer look today. Right. Well, okay, so that color looks like it is a shimmer, and, um, yeah, no, it's not. Definitely, it... It is a shimmer, but like when you start to put it on, it turns into like a soft matte and the color of it kind of just blends in, which is okay because I know like I'm sure I could use a wet brush, but I feel like this is just too soft and like loosely packed into the pan that I feel like even if I use a wet brush, it's still not going to get to deliver the payoff that I want. So I'm just going to add a different color to that. Totally okay. The more I touch my eye, the quicker it just fades right off. It's literally just being blended right off. Um, I will try using a wet brush, see if that helps. Mm, not really, like, I don't know how well you guys can see. I'm gonna bring it close, <laughs> pardon the pores. <laughs> I don't really give a shit. Um, so you guys look at that. It's just, it's so soft. Like the color of it is just so soft that it's just like 
the more I pat into it, the more I feel like it just absorbs away and blends away. So I'm going to take my ColourPop um, Zuella Collaboration and in the color OG, and I'm gonna place it on top where I originally wanted the color Tully to go. See if it gives that same shimmer and pop that I wanted it. Yeah. What I love about this is that it's literally comparable to the Stella Kit, um, Kitten Karma liquid uh, eyeshadow. Uh, and I love my Stella liquid eyeshadows. Don't get me wrong, but they're $25. I think these are like literally, I think these are literally $8. I think they're $12 at most. Like they're really not that expensive. They're really like not expensive at all. And I think they work just the same. So I think what I'm gonna do is I'm going to take the color committed again and I'm gonna put it under the under my eyes. I'm just gonna go for just a soft glam look today. Nothing too dramatic. So while I was there, I saw the CoverGirl released a new mascara. And again, I have not shopped CoverGirl, so I don't know if this is new. I mean, it said new, we'll see. But it is the Exhibitionist Mascara. It's 90% like the results. So it shows like the before and after, and it says four out of five saw a more dramatic look with each coat. Eight out of 10 said the formula defines, lengthens, and separates lashes. Lashes are full and defined only after one coat. Curl lashes from root to tip. It's smudge proof, clump proof, orthol, pathol, majolist, tested, safe for sensitive eyes, safe for contact lens wearers. So I got the color very, very black and we're gonna test this out to see if it really is like, you know, it says here in the photo. We'll see. All right, so this is how the mascara looks. All right. I kind of like more of the, uh, like the smaller, like, like, um, Benefits a roll-on mascara. I love the mascara because it's like harder. I don't know how to describe it But I feel like with such a fat bristle it tends to not do what it says it's gonna do, but we'll find out So what I do is I literally sit here and I just I shimmy back and forth as I blink into it It's not the worst mascara, but it's definitely not the best. I thought my Benefit Roller Lash Mascara actually works better than this one right here, personally, and it definitely smudges on the eye a little bit. Like, I got a little bit of smudging, easy to fix it when it, once it dries, but I feel like it doesn't lift as much as it says it does. I also have really long, heavy lashes, that's probably why. But, I mean, it's not bad. I mean, I'll definitely use this like every day because it's still mascara and I love using mascara, so I mean, I definitely will go through this. It just isn't like my, oh my god, this is like the best mascara. Because it's definitely not. But what I'm going to go ahead and do, guys, I'm going to do the rest of my face off camera, and then I'll come back and give you guys my final thoughts on the eyeshadow palette, and I will be right back. All right guys, and this is it for the final look. Something very soft, very basic, something really, really, really easy to do. All I did was throw my foundation, put on concealer, a little bit of bronzer, a little bit of brush, a little bit of highlighter, a little bit of white liner for my under eye, and that's it. That's literally what I did. Obviously, throw on a little bit of lip gloss, and uh, it's so easy to do, so basic, and, and I have to say, it's a really, really soft, really pretty look. I, I feel like this is a look that you can wear every single day, whether you're working, whether you're going on a date, whether you're hanging out with friends. Like, this is a very simple, Simple, soft glam easy look to do and it you know it is romantic and it really says on the back of this palette that this is a soft and romantic cool tone palette and I would definitely say that is exactly where this is at um, I would have to say when it comes to this palette um, the mattes are amazing the mattes are very very soft and they blend so easily into each other and they're gorgeous and they're really soft which I really do like that about the mattes are very soft you could build up you can build them up but when you do it's like gives you the color that you want but when it comes to the shimmer they're very very lackluster I feel like the shimmers are just too soft for me I feel like they absorbed into the other shadows and they didn't you know, give me the payoff that I wanted with a wet brush, without a wet brush, using my finger. Like, I did not get the results I wanted. So, unfortunately, I did have to result to using, like, my ColourPop liquid eyeshadow that they have. And that's how I got this really gorgeous, like, topper. I mean, you don't have to use this. I know that LA Girl does offer, like, the same exact thing for, like, nine bucks for three packs. I did a video on that, which I'll link there right up here. But I, overall, definitely say I love the look. I just think that the eyeshadow palette is um, a little overpriced for what it is. 
but I feel like for it being a $14 or pretty much a $15 palette, I expect it may be more of a higher payoff. And the reason being is that whenever I use my ColourPop eyeshadow palettes, like they range from $12 to $15 or $18 depending on what type of eyeshadow palette I get. And those colors, they pay off. Like all the ColourPop's um, pressed pigment shadows, like it's just my luck, you know, it's my pleasure. Those are $12 palettes for nine shades and damn do those colors pop to you. So seeing as how I spent 15 on this, I kind of expected like fairly similar results. Unfortunately, I didn't get it and it's a little disappointing, but overall, I think the look is really gorgeous. I definitely would wear this look to work or to out. Like I think it's a really soft, really pretty look. It's, and it's so easy to do. It took me barely any time to do and it's super, super easy to, to achieve this look. I just wish that it wasn't so overpriced for what it is. And I know they're trying to copy off like the Game of Thrones and I think this came out, I wanna say like around April 26th. Six. It could come out a little, you know, a little earlier than that. I, but I think I saw online April 26. I could be wrong. Please don't come for me in the comments for that. Um, as for the mascara, I mean, the mascara, it's, it's not bad. It's like kind of like any other mascara that I have. I just feel like it didn't perform the way that it promises every form. Like you know, four to five has like the exact same results, and they're so uplifting and lengthening. And I just I don't feel that when it comes to this. I feel like I got better results out of my Benefit Roller Lash Mascara personally, or like my Better Than Sex Mascara, or my my L'Oreal Lash Paradise. I'm obsessed with my L'Oreal Lash Paradise Mascara. I think that is an amazing mascara. So is the Big Colossal from Maybelline. I go back and forth between those two when it comes to drugstore all the time. I literally use either one or the other, and I feel like they give amazing results. Definitely give such lift and such curl, and I feel like those work better personally than the CoverGirl. So again, that's my opinion. But, um, yeah, guys, that is it for today's video. So before I wrap everything up, I once again want to thank you guys so much for all the love and support you guys giving me. Like, seriously, like, it means the freaking world to me. So because of that, I will be doing a giveaway. For hitting 1,000 subscribers, I'll be doing a giveaway. And what I'll be giving away is either a $100 gift card to either Ulta or Sephora of your choice. I'm going to let the winner decide, decide you know, whichever, whichever one they want to shop for. Um, I will be picking the winner on May 17th. That is a Friday and I will have the winner listed down below in the description of this video, as well as all the details on how to enter. Literally all you have to do is be subscribed to my channel. Make sure you guys follow me on Instagram. My handle is at AllieAnn89, and I'll have that link down below. And just leave a comment down below of where I can find you, whether it be Instagram, Twitter, email, anywhere that I can find you guys and reach out to you guys. Like I'd love to, know how I can get in contact with you because I had picked a winner before and unfortunately when I picked them, I was like, you never left an email. And she's like, well, I live, um, not even in this country, and I was like, oh, okay, sorry. Um, unfortunately, right now, the giveaway is only exclusive to the United States. I do apologize, unless I could do an e-gift card. If I can do it that way, then maybe I can try to send it international, but I'm not entirely sure, so I mean, I'll definitely let me know in the comments below if I'm able to do that, but um, yeah. Okay, guys, that's literally all you have to do to be entered in the giveaway. Like I said, it does end on May 17th. That is a Friday. It is over a week and some odd days from now, because today is Monday. But guys, that is it. Please make sure you guys give this video a cheeky thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel, because I do post two videos a week, and as always, guys, I wanna thank you guys for all your love and support, and I'll see you guys in the very next video. Bye. Hey guys, <clears throat> I got a bubble in my throat. <clears throat> okay, so let's go ahead and just get into today's. <sighs> so the giveaway. So because of that, uh, I should probably. And to hear about the thousand dollar, thousand dollar. Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to my channel. No. <sighs> and I never really look at them. I go ahead and I'm. Oh my god, I'm messing up. I'm just gonna take my drink. But. They already have a lot of eye, like, pot. Well, it is a fantastic brand and eyeshadow palette. Come, and it's been, I said, um, oh my God, I'm blinking. Uh, and did a little bit of white um, water, did a little, did a little bit of, <laughs>